morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I am losing weight following a calorie controlled diet using the NutriCheck app to track my calories. So today is the 6th of August, it's Saturday and we have just returned back to the UK from Tenerife. We've had two weeks in the sunshine and I have finally faced the scale. So I couldn't get a vlog up. I have vlogged while I've been away, so thank you if you've watched those vlogs. Um, but really struggled. I don't know whether it's my phone or whether it would just be in abroad. I'm hoping it would just be in abroad because I don't want to be getting a new phone. Um, but uh, yeah, I struggled to upload anything and um, it, it would just, it just kept cutting out and turning itself off. And yeah, so I'm hoping it's back to normal and I should be able to do a decent vlog today but we'll see so um i couldn't get a vlog up on friday because i tried in the evening not friday we're on we're on that was yesterday on thursday so i just can't, I just can't remember where i am i filmed wednesday night i think it's wednesday night i didn't get up we'd gone to harley's diner I'm not sure if I, if I got that vlog up or not and then I filmed Thursday as traveling back and yeah that wouldn't work and then um, we didn't we, we flew back to Manchester and they didn't have any staff um, well they were sure staff so there were a delay we, there weren't a delay arriving there were a delay getting off the plane because they had no one to put the steps up to it and no one to put the blocks under the wheels and then there was a delay with the cases coming off so we didn't get to bed till about four in the morning friday morning so it were a late start um yeah when we woke up on the friday so i were gonna do a weigh-in then and i just thought you know what i've not even had the right amount of sleep and sleep really does affect your body so i thought i'm not getting weighed i'll wait until saturday and saturday's my normal weigh day anyway so anyway on to the weight the last time I went away, and I've said in a few vlogs, I went away for 10 days to Tenerife and I put £11 on. So I put around a pound a day. So I really, really wanted to minimise that and not put on a lot. Ideally, I wanted no more than five. That were my aim. So the first week of the holiday, I was counting calories. Some days I were under, some days I were over overall really good activity levels really good i were even doing sit-ups in the room um we were doing long walks i were making sure i were doing swimming and trying to pick healthier options although i had high calorie meals like pie and chips and stuff like that um, i counted these and i i chose them because i had enough calories by the second week my willpower started waning, um, I was doing less activity, less swimming, le less walking and I mean I'm still hitting 10,000 steps a day but yeah I could definitely feel myself losing interest in looking at my new check app and basically choosing what I want to eat rather than making and thinking about calories. So I expected to see a weight gain this morning um, and I don't know what I expected. I thought I'd have done better on holiday. Um, but I wanted no more than seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Ideally, no more than five. But because the way it went and the way the last couple of days went, because we had a Burger King in the airport, we had a fry up in the morning. So I knew I was going to weigh heavy. So my pre weigh in before the holiday was 12 stone and 12 pounds. My start weight was 14.6 and I've weighed in at 13 stone and four. So it's a six pound gain. For two weeks, I don't think that's bad going. So um, Steve's starting his, and Marie's starting his calorie counting back on Monday. They're having the weekend off. So I don't, I don't want to have the weekend off. I am going to try and track, but I am easily influenced. That's all I can say. But I am going to be filming and trying to track. I've already um, 
counting my breakfast and I will show you that. So I will be getting vlogs up and trying my best. We've got a Morrison's delivery coming later. Today we're out shopping for school clothes. So spend an absolute fortune. And then, um, yeah, tonight we've not planned anything for tea, but we are going to be having his dinner out today. Steve has suggested Tim Hortons because it's near where the, um, the places that we have to go for the school clothes. So we'll see. We'll see what I have today. But yes, um, six pounds. Not bad. And I want to try and get a lot of that off this week. Um, I'm back to gym Monday and I just want to just try my best. Um, I can see the impact in my body, whether that's the gain or whether it's not doing the exercise at the gym that I've been doing. But towards the, at the beginning of the holiday, I was really quite happy with my figure. Towards the end, I felt like it was going back to normal, which my normal is obviously overweight and not, not so toned and healthy. But I definitely felt um, appreciative of the work that I put in at the beginning of the holiday, I felt happy with my body. So I know that what I was doing before the holiday was right for me and my body. So on holiday, I tried some new food. I tried some, I can't remember what they're called and you will correct me for this, but a seedling balls, little um, like rice balls with fish in and batter. I tried Granny Smith apples, which I'm, keep trying I like the taste I'm not so keen on the texture but I'm getting over it um, tried sardines chorizo oh what else did I try there was a veg the fried vegetables that they do abroad if there's a vegetable I can't think what it's called but I'm gonna put it up on screen and apparently it's part of the Swede and the, I don't know, they bought a little squash family. But I don't think they send it, sell it in the UK. But yeah, I tried that. Celery, they fry that up in the veg as well. So I tried that. Um, I can't think what else. But yeah, I was still definitely trying new things. Tried um, sea bream, which were really nice. Pretty similar to a sea bass, which I love sea bass. Um, but yeah. Really, really nice food. Tried to pick a lot of fish and white meats. I uh, usually have a lot of steak, but I think I only had that once or maybe twice. Um, but yeah, I think I did okay, and I'm really happy with six pounds. Anyway, let's get on to today. Let me know how you're all doing. I've not caught up on YouTube on the other people that I watch, so I need to, I don't know if I'll catch up, but watch the most recent vlogs and try and get myself motivated to get straight back on it because sometimes that between coming off an holiday and getting back on a diet you can put on the most weight so I don't want to be that I don't want to do that so I thought I did plenty of healthy things tonight um going in the Morrison's delivery and I planned my meals Monday to Friday I have we've not ordered Nello fresh but what I've done is I've used the recipe cards I've ordered the ingredients for the recipe cards. I'm going to plot them, those recipes, on NutriCheck to make them the most accurate they can be. And um, hopefully, what I've ordered, um, I can make as nice as the recipes that, that were delivered to me, but we'll see. So I'll show you that in my daily vlog, starting from Monday anyway. Hopefully we're having a barbecue tomorrow if weather picks up a little bit, so it's still a bit fresh outside. Um, but I've ordered some nice foods for the barbecue as well because I'm, I really liked all the Spanish veg that they served so I'm thinking about doing skewers with that on so we'll see anyway courgette I had tried it in a linguine in one of the yellow fresh meals but I tried it roasted um, quite a few times and, and the, like the carrots that were in it and it was delicious so I'll definitely be having that again so yes definitely broadening, broadening my horizons with the food anyway is what I ate today. This is breakfast this morning for 209 calories. I have got 40 grams of Weetabix minis and I think there was 119 grams of milk.
We're back in from shopping now. The Tim Hortons was delicious. Managed to get most of the school stuff except for shoes and bags and ties. So we're going to have to go somewhere else tomorrow morning. I've done nearly 8,000 steps, which is really good. And the Morrisons has just been delivered. The Tim Hortons, yeah, it was delicious. Very high calories. I'm not left with much for tea, but it was definitely worth it. I went for the burger because it was less calories than the chicken burger, which is surprising, but yeah, it was yummy. So anyway, let me turn you around and show you what I got for my Morrison shop. It was £133, so very expensive, but I've got the kids off school and I bought some ingredients that will carry over, um, you'll see anyway. So here we have it, £133 worth. Let's go through it. So I've got some um, bacon rashers. I did order thick, but it looks like, imagine this, they're all right, I suppose. Um, two, uh, 104 calories for two rashers, but obviously it depends on weight with stuff like that. Some nuggets for Bonnie. I've got these for one of the recipes that I'm gonna be using, um, just replacing what we would have got in the uh, Ella Fresh meal. So I've got the thick, pork and caramelised onion sausages. Got some red onions, pack of red onions. They, oh, these calorie wise are 144 per sausage. I've got some um, red wine stock cubes and some chicken stock cubes. Some normal onions, some baby potatoes that I'm gonna roast for the barbecue tomorrow. Uh, toothpaste, I've got these bagel thins. They're 126 calories each. Some Choco Pops for the kids, rocks, things, um, 122 calories for 30 grams. Bran Flakes, been having these on holidays. I've never liked them before and I can't say I like them now, but they are really, really good for your tummy. It's like eating cardboard, but if you have toilet trouble, let's put it that way, they are fantastic. Um, 107 calories for 30 grams, so they're quite low calories as well. I've got some of these sour cream whole grain. I've tried to go for more whole grainy type stuff um, and bran, just trying to just do better. So these are 119 calories each, so still quite high on the calories, but hopefully better for me. These are for the barbecue. They're 230 calories each. They're the Korean style style barbecue beef koftas. This is for a recipe and I would imagine it last us quite a while. So this is chipotle, I always say it wrong, chipotle paste. Um, let's see if we've got calories per 100 grams, 42. So, and you're not, that's for, so that's for full jar. So you're not gonna use that. So really low in calories. I've got some Italian style seasoning. Again, it'll be minimal, if anything. Yeah, there's no calories on that, so I count that as calories. I'm going to say sim free, calorie free. Um, beef, no, lamb mince, 454 grams. 100 grams is 235 calories, so quite high in calories, but for a family of four or five, it will be perfect. Some diced chicken fillets, 169 calories for 100 grams oven cooked. Some Granny Smiths, obviously, depending on the weight. These are for the barbecue tomorrow. I had ordered Chinese glaze, but got substituted. 192 calories for 100 grams as consumed. Some sweet clems. I've got some bagel thins, but they've got the soft seeded ones to try. I'm usually a bit funny about things with seeds in because textures, but I'm going to give them a try because they're better, they're higher in fibre, so we'll see. 133 calories each. I ordered Ula Hoop Puffed, but they've sent normal 120 calories each. Got some balsamic vinegar, some dog meat. This is for another recipe. It was for quite a few recipes, actually. So mango chutney. Let's see, calories. 20 gram serving, 51 calories. Some salmon paste, 34 calories for 15 grams. Some korma paste, again, for some recipes. Um, for 100 grams, it's 229, but we'll only be using a minimal amount of that. I usually use just the normal candarelle, but I've got the sugarly because the other one was out of stock. 
zero sh zero calories for half a teaspoon. Yeah, zero calories. Got some milk, um, some small tortillas. They are 120 calories each. Some parmesan, which again is for a recipe. 30 grams is 121 calories. I got these because they're low calories and they were on offer. And you get six in dinosaur lo lollies, ice creams these are. Um, so this one is 67 calories. I might have one of them. And the vanilla and strawberry ones, the pepper pig ones are 61 calories. Got some strawberries, mushrooms, fish refrigerators, they're 40 cal 43 calories per bag. Some raspberries. I've got um, whole wheat spaghetti and linguine. I've got some pepperamis, the mini ones, 44 calories. Some cheese, some tomato puree. I've got some of this prosciutto um, ham. They really enjoyed it on holiday, so I've got them that. 100 grams is 271 calories, but there's only 90 in that. Some carrots, some salami. Two slices, it's 35 calories. Um, got fruit corners that were on offer, so I've got 10 of them. I've got four of these, which for 100 grams is 150 calories. 144 calories for 100 grams. 100 grams, 100 calories, 105 calories. They're all going to be similar, aren't they? 106 calories. Um, 52 calories for the light one. And 110 calories, but obviously it's for 100 grams, they all weigh different. I've got some uh, cheese slices for 104 calories each. Some shallots, two lots of green beans, some paninis. These are going to be for kids, not me, but parole it's 227. These are for recipes, creme fraiche, 86 calories for two tablespoons. I've got two lots of baking potatoes. I've got a big a uh, ciabatta roll baguette which we're either having tonight or tomorrow and we've got some like special sauces that we bought from Tenerife uh, some wholemeal bread which is my, my favourite bread the Morrison's one and that is not, uh, 79 calories per slice I've got some other stuff so let me show you that I've in the corner I've got three pizzas this is just for kids during week 424 calories for half of that. Some garden peas, 67 calories for an 8 gram portion cook. Some salad tomatoes, two lots of peppers, a lime. It's not focusing, is it? Some kale. Got two lots of courgettes. Again, for recipes, some bananas. Some panko breadcrumbs. Some portobello mushrooms. Some snacks for Bonnie. Two lots of mushrooms. Some pot, eggs. Another snack for Bonnie. And I've got these chopped tomatoes with onion and garlic in. For half of it, it's 49. And then last but not least, we have some Worcestershire sauce. So that is everything that I got for around £133. So this is tea for 403 calories. I've got some clover in there. That's just half a bag of the Sun Bites um, cheese and chai crisp to try. Some prosciutto. I can't pronounce it right. Um, part of a Granny Smith's, a few strawberries and raspberries and some of the ciabatta that I've weighed. Um, we have got some Spanish dips as well, but I don't know the calories of those, but I'm only going to be having a little bit. So this is what I'm finishing my day with for 67 calories. It's a vanilla and chocolate ice cream lolly. These are from Morrison's and I think they were, I can't remember, I think it was two packs for £3 or something on offer. So this is what I'm finishing the day with. I will pop a um, details of the calories that I'm finishing on. So thank you so much for watching. I don't think I've done too bad to say it was my first day back on track. Um, but yeah, definitely need to get with it this week and have a good loss. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.